Hey, it's Coach Jamila, and I want to talk about a topic that is very important if you have uh, been through an unwanted divorce, and that is loneliness. It's probably the biggest thing that you're dealing with right now um, because you've gone from being in a pair or a team to now being alone, and the loss of that friendship, probably your best friend or your partner, can be extremely painful. And so when it comes to loneliness, I'm going to share three tips that I think um, can help you to somewhat cope. It really won't take away the pain um, really until that space is filled, but it will help you to pass the time as it were until you are able to find uh, that new relationship. And so my first tip for you is you need to have at least one to two confidants. Those would be uh, emotionally mature friends that you can have those long in-depth conversations about a variety of things. You look up, it's time for bed and you know, the time has passed and you're not just sitting around being alone. The second thing is social media. Um, no doubt you're connected to your friends and family. If you're watching this, you're on social media. And sometimes just scrolling through and looking at people's pictures and seeing you know, what's going on in their lives can at least make you feel somewhat like you're around people even though you're not. It can also have the reverse effect too. It can make you feel even more lonely because sometimes you can see other people that are happily married or who are enjoying life and you feel like you're just stuck at home not doing anything. Um, the third suggestion that I give you is to write in your journal. I've done a video on this before, but journaling can help you to get your emotions out, your feelings out. And even though really you're talking to yourself, it at least is a process. And uh, one bonus tip is a DVR. If you don't already have a DVR, you definitely should get one uh, for your cable. Tape all of your favorite shows, movies, whatever, and just binge watch <laughs> your, your shows to kind of pass the time, unfortunately. You can also read, you know, and do things like that. You don't want to waste your time. But, you know, when you have those t certain times of day when you struggle, you know, with the loneliness, that is a good, th these are just some, some good suggestions. Another tip I'll give you is this as well. When you get divorced and, and you go through an unwanted divorce, sometimes it can feel like your mate has died. And so it actually can be helpful to read articles and look at information that talks about dealing with the loss of your mate. And that may also help you to be able to work through the grieving and the healing process of your uh, marriage that is now over. So anyway, I hope those tips helped you. Just know that being lonely is totally normal. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, your life, your new normal is new. And um, you just got to learn to cope with it. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. And if you're trying to prepare for that light, you, maybe you can't see it, but you're like, I want to be ready when it shows up. By all means, I'm inviting you to join my private Facebook group, Get Real and Heal, Life After an Unwanted Divorce. We are a community of women who uh, have been through an unwanted divorce and uh, are now in preparation for that new relationship. I've already, of course, uh, found mine. I've been happily remarried now for going on five years, and I am helping you um, by uh, sharing how I was able to do that. So anyway, I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up and you take care.